Hey everybody, uh, today I'll be creating another Sony Vegas tutorial, and this time we'll be going over masking. This is a different kind of mask, like not a lot of people use this, as they probably should, because it really enhances like their video, or possibly trailer. Um, but this one involves taking Iron Man and changing him into War Machine. So let's just get down to work. Alright, so first things first, so you're going to insert the footage. Uh, this footage I have is from the Iron Man 2 theatrical trailer, so just insert it into the video track and take whatever footage of Iron Man that you want. This one I have next to War Machine or Rhodey, that way uh, you can really just see a similarity between the two suits. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to press c uh, Control or Control C, that's what I use for copy, or you're going to right click and press copy. Um, then you'll create multiple tracks which you'll have to insert multiple video tracks to get this proper I already did that ahead of time and you'll, ha you'll need at least three possibly more it depends on how well you want to do this so you're gonna insert another video track just cause I didn't have one already okay and so we now we have four so in order to do this we're gonna need to keep two things regular color you see the triangle it's right there uh, for Tony's arc we're going to have to keep that, like the bluish glow it's got going on. That way it just looks the best it can. And you see Tony's face, how he's white right now. Since we're going to be changing it to War Machine colors, obviously he has to keep his skin color to be, well, not black and white. So first things first, we're going to have to mask the triangle or the arc on Tony's suit. Very simple mask, just do it like so. That's better. I like that more. Put one little feather on it. Use the feather tool. It helps quite a lot to make masks look a lot cleaner. Okay. So now that we have that mask done, it's perfectly fine. That won't be touched. Make sure that one's on top, the triangle. That way there's no interference at all with, like, Rhodey or anything like that. And that mask will be fine with Rhodey. Like, he won't interfere in it at all. So that's cool. Um... So that's done. Next you're going to have to uh, mask Tony's face because as I said uh, we need to keep his skin tone being the same. So just go inside his helmet and just do a little editing on around there. Make sure you don't touch the helmet too much because we're trying to keep the helmet will be black and white hopefully. Uh, that's a little too far. And go back a little bit. Okay that's better. I like that. So now Tony's face is masked. Just put a little feather on that. I put a feather on everything. It makes everything cleaner. Uh, next, you're going to have to mask the suit. So we'll go in there. And we'll just begin masking the suit all around. Not a hard task, really. So long, Since Tony's not moving a lot, it helps quite a lot. It's not the best mask I'll ever do, but I'm just doing this to get it done quickly, you know? It really doesn't matter how clean it is around his face because we already cleaned, like, made sure his face stays the same. Just make sure you don't interfere with Rhodey too much. And again, we can go over the triangle a bit because it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so just make sure that's all nice. Put one feather on it. Possibly more. We'll go back and check that out. And you go to effects, video effects, go to black and white. Go to 100% black and white. You have a War Machine type color right there. See how his glow stays the same? Uh, we'll add a little feather to it just to make it a little better. Excuse me. No, that's the wrong one. Use out for this one. Oh, yeah. That's a lot better. Uh, the Avengers movie 09 used a very similar, if not the same, masking technique. And they did it. They did it very well. So, as you can see, Tony's face is looking. Uh, still regular colored. His suit is black and his triangle remains the same color. What masking also tends to be annoying with, you have to follow Tony's face. Like you see when you move down the time frame, Tony's face becomes more black and then his suit becomes red over here. That can get annoying. Create another another video track. Insert video track. Place that one on top. And what we'll do with this one 
reset the mask because we just had, I copied the triangle one. I'm just gonna mask Rody a bit over here. Do a little bit of switcheroo. Okay, so. And then we go back down to the other mask, and we just okay. We're gonna have to do a little bit of difference here. Just move each uh, line over to the right a little bit. Uh, it won't affect anything above since we just changed Rody to match this. But you see how now the suit's become black all around again. That is exactly what we want. Masking is not really easy when it comes to moving objects. It just changes all the time. That's why pictures are very easy to work with. So now that you see Tony, his suit is basically black all around. I'm going to just fix it a tiny bit more because that's bugging the crap out of me. Go a little bit more. Okay, that's better. Alright. But as you can see Tony's face, it is still so we had to go back to the Tony's face mask fix that up a bit all right so just keep moving it like move down the time frame or the keyframe as other people call it and just move the lines over to match that of Tony's, like you see how he was just black and white and now he's regular again. Just do that, it'll look fine. It'll be fine, you see how his face continues to be regular color. Just keep moving the suit over slightly. Not too much, because then you'll get black and white on the other side. But you see that? His face is matching just fine. Let's render that out, see how it looks. If any of you are curious, I use uh, MP4 HD. That's how I render all my videos. You can see a little bit of red in different parts. Again, it's not perfect. That would take using a mask. Uh, that would take a feather on the roadie footage to make that a little better. You can see a little red around there right around there-ish, but that can easily be fixed on by you guys when if you guys try this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you just have to use multiple layers, and you'll have what you need, basically. If you follow this tutorial precisely, you'll be able to create a Tony that look, has War Machine colors alongside the actual War Machine. Again, the colors aren't perfect, obviously because I'm using Sony Vegas, just masking it. I'm not creating War Machine. But I tried to make it pretty similar to that of War Machine. Anyway guys, uh, that's my tutorial of masking. Uh, it's a pretty quick tutorial, pretty helpful for you guys hopefully. Uh, if you have any qu uh, if you have any questions on this, uh, please feel free to ask. I'll be doing another tutorial on multiple layers as if I could place a Kevin behind here over there. I'll be doing that maybe even tonight, I'm not sure. I have a little bit of time on my hands. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe. There's much more to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you.